Hi, this is Jason with Everyday Apple, and if you're here to just quickly learn how to take a Mac screenshot or screen recording, I'll show you that first, but then stick around if you wanna see some of the cool built-in options that also exist in Mac OS. Let's take a look. The easiest, quickest way to save a screenshot on the Mac, now this is if you want to take a picture of your entire desktop, is to hold down Shift-Command-3. And when you do that, a screenshot file will appear in your save location. Now in a moment, I'll show you how to change your save location, uh, but that is the simplest way to take a screenshot. Now that's not a video, that's just the screenshot taking an image file of what's on your desktop. If you want to take a picture of a particular part of the screen, there's a quick way to do that, and that's Shift Command 4. Hold down Shift and Command, click 4, and then you get these crosshairs. You say, well, I just want this portion of the screen and when you do that, that specific portion of the screen will appear as a file on your desktop. There it is. And so that was the basically click and drag where you're just saying, I want a specific portion of the screen. So those are the easy ways to do it. So what if you want to record yourself doing something on the screen and create a video file of that? Or if you wanna see some of the more advanced options for taking a screenshot. Well, that's when you need to click Shift Command 5. And when you do that, if you go down here, you will see there are a few options. On the left side, you have you can capture the entire screen, you can capture the selected window, or a selected portion. And this is the same thing we did with Shift Command 4. You also on this side have record entire screen, and that's going to be a video file, or if you just want to record a selected portion, you can do that here. So those are what that's what these buttons are for. Then you have the options menu, and this is where you get to decide where your files are going to save to. When you choose a save to location here, that will stick. So it's going to remember whatever you chose here. So let's say I choose my downloads folder. When I do that, anytime I use Shift Command 3 or Shift Command 4, it's also going to use that same location, whatever I chose in this menu. So if you're finding that you thought it would land on your desktop, but it didn't, it's probably because at some point you changed it here in the Shift Command 5 uh, options. So you also have a timer, which is really nice if you're trying to set something up on your screen. Uh, the other options are a show floating thumbnail. And what this will do, I'll just demonstrate this real quick. So let's see, I'm gonna bring up a window here. And let's say I want the floating thumbnail to show up, that just gives you an opportunity to edit the picture you take. So if I take a, um, a screenshot, let's say selected portion, and for whatever reason, I really like this little right here, and I go ahead and click capture. The floating thumbnail is down here on the right, bottom right, and I can click it and then do some editing. And I can add notes or, you know, highlight things, add text, whatever you desire. And then click done and it'll save whatever changes you did in that floating window there. Also on these options you have uh, remember last selection. So if you are taking a screenshot of the same thing in the same position on the screen, but there's a slight change every time, that means when you do this and capture, when you go to do it again, it's just going to bring up that same exact placement for your uh, click and drag window. So that's useful in certain situations. And then you may want the mouse pointer to show up in the screen grab. You'll need to select this if you do. With the record selected portion, same kind of thing. It's gonna grab whatever portion of the screen. So if you're trying to demonstrate something for someone and, and you say, um, let's say I just wanna grab this whole whole window right here because I'm trying to show a friend. He's like, I don't know how to edit my letterbox reviews. All right, well, I'm just gonna record this portion of the screen and say, hey man, you just click here, you're gonna click edit, and then you go in here and you do your editing and so on and so forth. And then I'm gonna click right up here at the top of the screen to turn off the recording. It's in the menu there. Or I can hold, click uh, Shift Command 5, and it will bring this back up at the bottom. 
then it saves it. It gives you a little thumbnail down here first, but it'll save it in whatever location that we chose. So that's how you do a screen grab or screen recording on your Mac. You've got shift command three, four, or five each with different options, five being the most advanced. I hope this helps you out. Would love to have you as a subscriber and it always helps the channel if you can click that like button. We will see you on the next one.